Welcome back. Now, I realize that the lighting and stuff isn't ideal in here at the moment, but we're working on it, so stick with it, and uh, yeah, we'll get there eventually. So, welcome back to another app review. And if you're curious about what some of the other app picks that I have in this series, then definitely go and check out the playlist in the link in the description. Uh, we try and showcase open source software and showcase some alternatives here on this channel, be it uh, free and open source operating systems or free and open source software. So definitely go check out the other stuff that's around. But this particular one today is about a download manager named Persepolis. Um, that's what I'm gonna call it for the duration of this video. I don't really know if that's how you say it, but we're gonna stick with that. It's a download manager, much in the vein of the uh, free download managers of yesteryear. And all it is, in a nutshell, is it's a graphical user interface for the ARIA2 download manager backend. Uh, ARIA2 is a command line tool that's been around for a long time uh, in various forms. And all Persepolis does is it gives you a GUI to interact with it, manipulate it, and uh, download large files. Now. Some of the things that uh, set this apart in my books are twofold. First of all, you have a really tight integration with uh, basically whatever web browser you want to throw at it. So they have uh, frequently asked questions and ways to integrate basically any web browser in with Persepolis. Uh, number two, it's cross-platform. So you can use this on Mac, Windows, and any flavor of Linux you so desire. Um, and while I do say any flavor of Linux, I, I do mean that, but at the same time, it's not, um, not that I'm aware anyway, it's not available on the universal packaging services like Snap, Flatpak, or AppImage at this point. That'd be a feature request of mine, I guess. Uh, make it available in FlatHub or something. And, uh, and finally, it, it, it enables uh, multiple downloads. You can download at uh, multiple connections to try and accelerate your download speed. And that is a very hard thing to do these days and to do it well. And out of all the download managers that I've tried, Persepolis seems to be the one that can do it the best and have the most reliable results. Uh, if Persepolis starts downloading something, usually it will finish downloading something. And usually the results that I get are three to four times faster than what I would get if I was downloading something from uh, just the standard web browser. Okay, so let's say you were wanting to download uh, the latest version of Ubuntu, which is what I'm running in the background here, and uh, and you wanted to grab uh, you wanted to grab it as quick as possible. So you go to download 2004 LTS, and it would say thank you for downloading and then it will start downloading. You would click save file on Firefox, pop up to your download here, go copy download link, and then you'd stop that one. There's probably a smoother way of doing this, but this is how I usually run it. Then you hit the plus button on Persopolis and it automatically pastes the link into it, gives you a size estimate, and then you can set a bunch of options. Like if you wanna download it via a proxy, you can do that. Or if, you, if it needs a username and password, uh, for example, if you are using a uh, one of those premium file sharing sites, you can put your username and password in there. You can set the maximum number of connections. I think it tops out at 16, so, but you can drop it back if you like. You can limit the speed if that's your thing. And uh, yeah, there's a few other bits and pieces you can do, but you click OK and uh, you get, uh, in my experience anyway, you get a much faster download speed doing this than through the web browser. So. The other tool that Persepolis has, Persepolis has is a media finder. Now, you can throw a URL for any video site, or well not vi any video site, but the big ones, Dailymotion, YouTube, Vimeo, etc., and uh, and then hit the fetch media list and it will create a list of what videos are available to be downloaded and then you can go and download them using the standard download interface. You get a list of all the downloads that you want. You can minimize Persepolis to the system tray if you so desire, and you can queue up multiple downloads. So if you wanna download a bunch of different things and just set it and forget it, it will handle that as well. So to my understanding, Persepolis is still undergoing relatively active development. Um, so definitely swing by Persepolis, have a look at their website, check them out. And if it is something that you get value from, then the more power to you. You can see their activity on GitHub and their last commit was back in March. So it's not a super, active project, but it's got enough going on that I think it's worth a look. Let me know what you think. Are download managers over the hill now and no one really cares? Or do you guys still have active uses for Persepolis? 
I find it really helpful when I'm downloading Linux distros that don't necessarily have a torrent associated with them. Definitely speeds things up on my end. Let me know what your experiences are and feel free to keep other suggestions of uh, productivity oriented applications that are free and open source and available on the Linux desktop down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.